Hi there, it's Pat Moss, and nice of you to join me for another episode of our Dawn of Man game. Let's hit speed 4 and let's get going. And last time we moved a few farms out of the enclosed area, and I think we're going to continue that a little bit. But maybe there's a few other things we need to do, so I'm going to check that. For instance, if I see here, we don't have enough linen outfits to fit everyone, but I don't know what the limits are, so let's check that. 225. So, yeah, we should get more. Question is, why aren't we? And I have to look at the um, crafter's hut for that. Let me check. Yeah, I have to find the right hut. It's kind of tough, I guess. Ooh, we have a lot of repairs to do, by the way. I am just spotting that. Alright, let's get to production. <coughs> let's get an outfitter. We do have one. But perhaps we need another one. Oh, it's right here. Well, we do have linen out... We do have linen, so we should be able to get those extra clothes in. But, well... As we can see, workload's pretty high, so that could be a thing. We'll just add a few and let's see if they will finish those then. Perhaps someone can go in and, and do it quickly. In the meantime, I was thinking... Oh well, all the stones got to the stone circle, that's perfect. We got another knowledge point. They're doing all the sewing, that's good as well. But I was thinking we should probably invest big time into hunting. Yeah, hunted a wild horse, knowledge plus one. I think we need to hunt a lot more animals to make sure that we get all the knowledge point from these animals. And, well, there's a lot of animals here. There's also a hunting zone. I think we should move it a little bit closer to the river, but perhaps we should just add an extra one. Make it big, of course, and also set five people to this one. So now we can actually... Oh, I don't need to pause. Now we can really kill a few. Now, we can't have horses yet, so there's no point into making sure that we get those horses. But now enough people can go and hunt, which should bring in quite a few extra animals. And I guess we should get rid of these trees to make room for... Uh, ...farmland. This is probably the easiest way. Just do it like this. Get rid of those trees. Perfect. Well, our defenses are okay, but we do need... Oh, we need a bit of leather. We do have a tannery. Alright, first structure stone circle. Let's complete it. Here we have our stone circle. That's nice. Its condition is very good. And a large structure composed by several megaliths. It greatly increases your settlement's prestige and provides a boost for your people's morale. Well, that's good. That's good. Milestone unlocked. Megalomania. That's nice. There's a next milestone. I would not have guessed that was a milestone, but it is. And already got eight knowledge points now. What's that donkey doing? Where's he going? Oh, probably just on its way to start pulling a wagon, I guess. No, he's not. Alright, well... That's good. Eight knowledge points. Oh, well, we have a lot to go to get to the Bronze Age, of course, but... It's something. Workload's still very high. We have plenty of room for new people to come in. Still going to build one or two more huts. 
be absolutely sure we can house a lot more people because we just need a lot more people. Some food, but that's fine. And yeah. Why are you lying there on the bridge? Why would you do that? Well, I see a lot of people walking there, so I think a lot of hunting is going on. They're all going straight here into these areas where there are a lot of animals. All right, we got cheese. A hundred cheese. Another knowledge point. Well, wild horses there. Well, they're not hunting them, but... Could just try and capture one or two. Yeah, there's a lot to be done. A lot of animals to be hunted. Two new, three new humans joined our settlement. Oh well, let's go back to our settlement. There we are. And that's good. Extra people coming in. Still plenty of food. They are producing linen now, so that's a nice addition. Perhaps I should just get an extra one. Alright, let's get another outfitter. We only have one at the moment, and I think we can do very well with two. Collect those berries. Got 250 pulses, another knowledge point. We have 10 now, so we're halfway towards the next age. Ah, oh, that's interesting. 100 wool, that's another knowledge point. Alright. Well, all that's looking good. Plenty of logs, plenty of flint, plenty of stone. We still have 2 megaliths, it appears. We have 10 bones... Could use a bit more leather. We have tannin though, so they can easily produce leather. They're just not doing it at the moment. Oh well, workload's still pretty high, so that's probably it. There's another wild horse. What are they bringing in? Oh, not a lot of stuff. That's good. They are working a lot outside the village, so that makes them vulnerable for attack, of course. Well, let's see the trader. What does he have to offer? Goats. I don't really need goats. Bows. I don't... Oh, we can use a bit of leather. And do we need copper axes? I don't think so. We have plenty, I guess. We need a trade value of 30. Guess we don't use bone spears that much, and we can sell two pulses. All right. Well, that gives us four leather. That's nice. They are still drying meat, which is good. I think that's one of the things I forgot about, is food dryers in this area. Because right now, if they have... They dry food, they need to go all the way here to dry it and then store it and then pick it up. If we can have a few food dryers here as well, maybe one or two skin dryers, that means that they can do everything they need to do on this side of the river as well. And I think that's a good thing. We also need a fire here. We have a fire there, so we can just make a place a fire somewhere here. Let's get rid of that tree and this tree. I don't want trees there. They block my sight. I don't like that. But yeah, that looks good. Alright, straw is coming in. We don't have that much anymore, so we need straw. We do need a lot of straw, actually. And they clear out the areas here, so that's good. What's this? What do we have here? We have Einhorn. So if we want to sow something, in this case it should be Einhorn. Alright. Let's just sow it right there, and after that we can get rid of this field.
Well, let's wait until they show everything, and then we can just get rid of it at a go. This also brings in more straw, that's good. And then I guess we should stop building huts for a while, because we need to save a bit of straw. There are fruit trees. Well, they're still quite busy. Oh, as soon as people walk by, things get messy. So get lost people. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Now that brings in a nice smooth area. That's good. Can I get more food already? No. I cannot. Let's replace that a bit so they get rid of all these trees. A charcoal pit. Yeah, they should be producing charcoal. But, again, workload's pretty high. I guess I give my people too much to do. There's a storm coming. Oh, that's always an issue. There's a chance someone will get hit or whatever. We already lost someone because we had 93 people. Now it's 92. I guess the game is halting a little bit at 90... Around 90 people. I'd really love to get a few more, but somehow we don't. Now, that was a big lightning flash right there. Let's just hope everyone stays okay. I'm going to do a quick scan to see if there's any animals close by, and of course if I can see raiders coming in. What's this? Oh, that's a whole lot of logs just laying around. Oh, maybe the thunderstorm is doing that. Do I see raiders coming in from inside? No. Are these boars? Alright. Let's try and capture two small ones. Yeah, I don't see raiders anywhere, so that's a good sign, I guess. Usually they might come from this area. Now, I see something red here. What's this? That's a wolf! Alright, well... Not really worried about wolves for now. What are these? Bisons. Oh, we could hunt some bison. But yeah, not going to do that at this point. Because, well, quite a few people need to take a rest or get a morale boost. Which they can, of course, at the stone circle or at this megalith right here. There's men here, it's called. They just need to do that, and they're not. I could probably build an extra stone circle. That could be a thing. Let's get rid of these plants. They were peas, so that's fine. And I think I'm going to build another stone circle. Or a dolmen. Oh, that'll be cool. Let's create a dolmen. It said we already had th through two megaliths available right here. So there should just be a third. And that's it. Then we can build it. So let's go check. Here we have a megalith. Let's harvest it. Yeah, this one's already done. Perfect. Alright, this should just get that one and then... We can produce a dolmen. Nice. Should we get another spiritual building to help people stay happy? Perhaps another totem or something? Or maybe a statue? But I have to see. Statue is probably going to take a little while before we can unlock that. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. Ah, required for a statue. Alright, well... We'll see. It's okay. People can just keep going, and then we can find out. I think we're going to put it on speed 8 for a little while. And we're not going to do too much, because there's a lot of jobs still needing to be done. And 
as long as I don't do them, people will have a high workload, so they need to get a few jobs fixed before we can do new stuff. And they all need to replenish their morale, etc. So, the trader has arrived, and it appears he brought a cow. And there's a wolf attack right there. Is there anyone that can help? Probably don't need to because he is fighting. Let's hope he kills the wolf. Yeah, he did. Alright, that's good. Now he should heal because he almost died. And now we have time to look at the trader. What's he bringing? I don't think anything we need. So, sorry trader, but we're not going to trade. Alright, let's get back to speed 8 again. Make sure our people get the jobs done. Yeah, workload's lowering, so that's a good sign. Perfect. Let's just keep it this way. Winter's coming. There's the snow. Alright. Will there be another attack soon? I'm kind of expecting something not too far from now, but I don't see anything, so we'll just continue then. Four new humans joined. Now that's a good number. I like that. There's space for 25 more, so that's also a number I like. We can have quite a few people. Now, I think we should sow some peas right here. Because we got rid of a field there and we need to replenish that. We need all the food we can get. And, of course, we get knowledge points from it, so it's also something I like we get rid of these trees, we can sow something here as well. So I'm going to remove this one. Put it right there. Ten megaliths. Oh, that's nice. We have no straw to feed our animals. Yeah, I was a bit afraid of that. So we really need to cut down trees right here. And start working. On a few extra farms to produce straw. And I guess we can just use the uh, normal uh, stuff. Grain stuff, etc. Alright, we survived another winter. That's good. Let's do all the different types of grain. Perfect. Well... 250 tan and another knowledge point. 15 knowledge point right now. 15. So that's good. I guess now that winter is over, all these animals can survive because they can just eat grass. And we should really invest on in getting some hay. So perhaps I should also build something close by there. Yeah. Don't want any straw to get lost. And since the best way to produce straw is by producing farmland, that's probably a good thing. Since we have a lot of animals, we need a lot of straw. There's just no way we can just plant something to produce straw. We really need to produce grain with it as well. Although these trees look very good, I think they can quickly start to produce vegetables, etc. The trader has arrived again. Well, he's coming by a lot. There's another donkey. Oh, that'll be good. We can use donkey, I think. And two straw. Let's get two straw and a donkey. What can we trade for that? We have an adult goat, two adult females. I thought we had more, but apparently not. And... Well, let's get four bows, and then we just need a little bit more, so we'll just do a little bit of food or logs. Oh, we can do logs. Plenty of logs. Alright, that's it. 
So we got a donkey and two straw. Perfect. Bye bye. Oh, I like this. This is good. Are they already working this? No, pending materials. Well, they should be bringing in one from there. Let's prepare this one for transport. Yeah, there's another there, but... Well, they should... Oh, there's one they're bringing in. Perfect. There should be another one they already bring in. Because it said we had two already. I just don't see it, and I don't see they brought one yet. No. So there should be another megalith somewhere that we already produced. There's just no easy way to know where. Which makes that kind of hard. So perhaps we should just seek one close by again. Alright, this is the second one. And now we need... The third one, all right. Yeah, these all need to be chopped out again, so let's just do it. Let's mine that one, and then let's bring it in. That'll be fine. That's going to be our next megalith. Since workload is okay now, we can see that people have the time to rest, to work on their morale. And I guess that's a good thing, because there was a lot of these yellow triangles and even some red ones and now they're disappearing so that's a good thing if you have a lot of those triangles popping up people are too busy and they don't have time to replenish their morale and eat etc so just give oh we reached 100 that's very nice so just give them time to uh, adjust and and do all the jobs they need to do three Three people joined, we got a hundred charcoal, another knowledge point. So we just need one more to get to the Bronze Age. There it is, 250 letter. Well, I guess we are going to proceed to the Bronze Age, because we can, and because I just like it. And I hope I'm not doing anything foolish, and that we now get such big raider attacks that we just get killed. But we'll see. So yeah, let's proceed. There it is. We got into the next age, and I never got to the Bronze Age. So yeah, that's nice. Unlocks the production of bronze in pit furnaces and creation of bronze tools and weapons. Well, metallurgy. I guess we need to work on that. A copper mine, a tin mine, a charcoal pit, a pit furnace, and a metal smith. I guess we could use another pit furnace, although I believe we already got one on this side of the river. Right there, yes, perfect. And I don't know, did we already build a metal smith? Oh yeah, right here. Alright, so we are now producing a copper axe, and if we do the bronze axe, that's even better. We are producing copper sickle. Oh yeah, these are much better, so let's get rid of these. And let's just build those, so get rid, come on, bye bye bye, let's build these. Let's build some good bronze stuff. We can use that. Alright, so you need... Ooh, we need a lot of stuff for that. Two copper ore, we need charcoal, and we need tin, I guess. I guess that means tin. Yeah, so we need to work on that. Get mines. There's a flint mine and a copper mine. Do we also have a tin mine or something? It's also a copper mine. What's this? Flint mine. Well, I guess I should seek out a tin mine then. Although I don't know what tin looks like, so we'll have to find that. What's this? Copper. I'm going to do it like this because... Ah, tin ore. There it is. Alright, let's build a tin mine right there. 
let's start collecting. We have another tin mine close by. That's flint. That's tin right there, but that's quite far away. There's one right there, so let's build another tin mine. Good. All right. Well, let's keep it at speed four. Let's go. Well, that should help to make sure that we get enough tin so we can start to produce copper. Really like that. Well, wool and linen are now up to speed. So I guess having a lower workload is very good. That really works. Now, a bronze knife and a bronze spear are pretty good for butchering and fighting, so I guess we need to produce those as well, and a bronze spear as well. Because if we look at the uh, flint spear and the bone spear... Yeah, they're not too good. But I think we can get rid of all those, because we don't need them anymore. We are producing everything here we need. First structure, a tin mine. That's good. And the trader arrived. Let's see. Does he have to offer this time? Let's click on the trader. That helps. Linen, copper. Yeah, all that's fine. Bye-bye. Not much I need there. Alright. So we got our first tin mine. I guess we should build storages then for tin. And since the furnace is right here, we should probably get it close to the furnace. So let's build one right there. And, I don't know, build one here. And tell it to just hold tin. I think that's fine. There it goes goes. Let's check the limit of tin. Yeah, let's set it up high. Because that means that we can get a lot. Oh, we should probably also... Oh, we can... No, we can't store copper or something in there, so... We'll just need a storage unit for that. Perhaps we should get extra storage units as well, because... Well... I think some of those are pretty full. So yeah, let's build a storage hut right here. And another one there. That's better. Because some of our storage huts are quite full, actually. Yeah, we store a lot, but we also need a lot, so that's good. Perfect. Well, we could use some extra food. Perhaps a few extra mortars, although this one isn't in use anyway. Maybe we need a few more fires to bake bread. That could be a thing. One, two fires there. Well, let's get a fire here and a fire there. That's better. Oh, knowledge points, knowledge points, perfect. Milestone unlocked, metal alloy, and knowledge plus two. That's another milestone, that's good. We only need two more and we have all the milestones. That's great. I like it. Well, and there's a storm coming, and with that storm coming, I'm going to do a last check to see if there's any enemies coming. But I don't see any raiders coming in at the moment. And, well, it's been half an hour again. So, yeah, we are going to quit this one. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. That's going to be a big help. 
And of course, feel free to leave a comment. That also helps me a lot. And of course, I like to engage with you guys and, and just I'll respond to it. So please feel free to do that. Give me any tips or whatever or, or suggest games to me or just share what you want to share. Uh, that's all fine. And well, then of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.